Let's talk about shingles. No, not like the ones on your roof. The infection. Shingles is also known as herpes zoster, and it's a painful rash that starts as a band of blisters, usually on one side of the body. It can be quite severe, and in some cases even have long-term consequences. It's actually caused by varicella zoster virus, which you may actually recognize as the virus that causes chicken pox. And it's actually a really interesting virus. Interesting uh, in a way that's kind of terrible for us as humans, but very fascinating to our nerdy science brains. After an initial infection, it does something kind of sneaky where it hides genetic material in nerve cells. Then if it manages to reactivate at a later date, that's when it can cause shingles. About 99% of the adult population in the United States carries the dormant virus, meaning they're at risk for shingles. And around a million people in the US every year will end up getting shingles. Adults age 50 and over and anyone who's immunocompromised is at an increased risk of getting shingles. And from a sex perspective, women and AFAB people in general also seem to be at an increased risk. In addition to being at an increased risk of shingles itself, some data actually indicates that women and AFAB people are actually at an increased risk of postherpetic neuralgia or PHN. PHN is the most common shingles related complication and it's a persistent nerve pain that can be very severe and typically lasts for a few months, but in some cases can even go on for years. Unfortunately for both shingles and PHN, they are associated with a fairly significant negative impact on an individual's quality of life. According to the CDC, herpes zoster vaccination is recommended for the prevention of herpes zoster or shingles and its related complications for anyone who is immunocompetent and over the age of 50 and in adults 19 and older who are or will be immunosuppressed or immunodeficient either because of medical therapy or a disease state. So let's make sure that physicians and patients are aware of this virus, its possible complications, and its preventative measures.